many teams in it. This is an optimal number, nine. Nine teams. Well, the second time is the charm, and we are underway. Wake Forest, Florida State, Clemson, Virginia, North Carolina, Notre Dame, NC State, Virginia Tech, and Duke in this second section. Well, you can see right away they're off to a much quicker start in this 1200 than the first section was. I imagine these times will pop pretty good. There's a couple of teams that have a shot of getting into NCAs if they really put it together tonight. Uh, the NC State uh, contingent already has a mark that would probably uh, easily qualify them. But they seem to be putting a loaded lineup out there, so wouldn't want to discount them. They currently are sitting in ninth. Notre Dame at the merge, out of the gates first. Kitty Thronson, the Tennessee transfer, the all-SEC performer in the steeplechase. Virginia Tech in second. You know, we've always felt like, oh, it's Florida State, excuse me. Mis mixing up my maroons once again. Florida State in second. Virginia Tech's in fourth in the black uniform. Uh, but they've, they've worked out on their Virginia Tech track so well over the years, and there's been so many races in Blacksburg uh, at the ACC Championships. That's a, we felt that's always given them a little bit of advantage in this relay. But this track is, is faster than any of them. They went 67 on the first 400. That's a, that's a good, good time. If you can get a leadoff leg in the 321 range, you're rolling. So they are not being shy on this first leg. Thronson has been a really solid addition for Notre Dame. Had success in the SEC. Really a good steeplechase event. First year in South Bend. Had a huge year in cross country. Taking sixth in the 6K at the ACC Championships. And right now your leader for the Fighting Irish in this opening leg of 1,200 meters. Keep in mind it's 1,200, 400, 800. And then we close out with 1,600 meters and a couple of Home run hitters in the field with Caitlin Tuohy of NC State and Lindsey Butler of Virginia Tech. And another team with heavy hitters is Virginia. They've just moved into second. Coached by the legendary Vin Lanana. In third is UNC. We've talked already about Coach Chris Miltenberg when he's done. 213 at the 800, so they actually picked it up. They went 67-66. So they got a great shot at running sub 320 on this leadoff. Esther Sealand is the lead leg for Virginia. The Cavaliers sitting second. She's the Division Three national champion for Messiah. Her first year in Charlottesville. So you have a couple of transfers leading the pack right now. One from the SEC and the one from Division Three Messiah and, making the move. And here goes the Virginia runners. And there's Vin Lanana in the gray hair shouting instructions saying this would be a great time to finish strongly so this is the final lap the 400 meter runners have already been brought out to the exchange zone less than 60 meters to go here to the handoff Virginia extending its lead nicely here in the first heat Notre Dame second UNC third so Duke no jitters fifth. in the first ACC indoor championship for Sealand Virginia your leader and it's Emily Alexandru the junior from Connecticut the hurdle specialist now called on to be the 400 meter specialist 317 8 we talked about 320 being a benchmark in that end 317 8 for Virginia great start there is Alexandru being pursued by Notre Dame. The Irish sitting second with Eve Balserio. North Carolina State still back a ways. North Carolina in third. Duke is now moving very close to North Carolina. They're going to probably go into third, judging on the performance of their quarter miler. And now, there he goes. UNC in third, Duke in fourth. Megan McGinnis and Brianna White, UNC and Duke, Virginia, Notre Dame, North Carolina, Duke, both very close at three and four. Absolutely. Kiara C. Schultz out there for the Cavaliers. The junior part of the ACC indoor silver medal DMR team. Experience in this event, experience in this leg. Katie Ryan, Notre Dame, in her second year in South Bend, started her career at Stanford, and it's a pack formation right now. Duke in North Carolina, striking distance, little shouldering for position. Tolbert to Duke into third, and now 
Going to challenge Notre Dame for second. Tolbert has run 204 in the 800 last, this year. She's really one of the better half milers in the conference. So Duke with a strong contingent out there. Right off the shoulder of Virginia now. And not just one of the better half milers, one of the better freshmen in Absolutely. this conference. Notre Dame retakes the lead. We've got two laps to go on this half mile leg. Ryan, the leader, an all ACC performer in the 800 last outdoor season. She took fifth in the 800 meters in the indoor. Tolbert goes by Virginia. We've got three teams running really, really well up front. Remember, we ran 3.17.8 on the leadoff, so they, they're, they're running times that they can think about NCAAs. NC State, meanwhile, is down 8.5 seconds from the lead. Tolbert now with one lap to go. You see the Duke coach in the gray sweatshirt next to Lenana in the black jacket, both urging their athletes on. But Notre Dame Duke now with a lot on the line. This is a big test for Tolbert. Our first look at the freshman at these ACC championships trying to run down a veteran in Katie Ryan of Notre Dame. They're bringing out the anchor legs. Notre Dame, Duke 1-2, Virginia 3rd, North Carolina 4th. Keep an eye on NC State in the red and white. A lot of ground to be made up for one of the premier runners in all of college track. Here comes Caitlin Tui. Don't forget the runner in second from Duke, Anna Matu. When Tui set her collegiate record in the mile, Matu moved into second in the national list in the mile. She's also highly ranked nationally in the 3,000. She ran a 204 800 in high school over in Holland. She is a stud anchor, and she's in great position right now. Olivia Markazik, your leader, Notre Dame, excellent miler. She'll be running in the 3,000 meters on Saturday, all ACC cross-country performer. She took third this past October. Hey, Tui's going fast. She ran 32 seconds for her first 200. So that does uh, like go at the 4.16 pace. <laughs> That's about eight seconds faster than her college record. Anyway, the race is up front here, though. This is going to be a great finish. Notre Dame, Duke, Virginia, all with stunning anchors. UNC in fourth, and here comes Tui. The aforementioned Tui of NC State. 65 at the 400 now for Tui. 420 pace. Remember, her collegiate record is 424. Matug of Duke into the lead. This is the first time Duke has led. Matug, the sophomore. I believe Matug was fourth in the ACC Cross Country Championships. Remember, just the 800 meter background. She's proved she can run cross country, the 3,000. The mile might be her sweet spot. Again, one of the, she's gonna go to nationals in the mile. Look at the ground that Tui has made up. Tui, 138 at 600. That is uh, flying. <laughs> Absolutely flying. She's in fourth now. Matug, though, out front. Is that the best position for her to be in? I'm not sure. Virginia runner tucking nicely behind her. Also with a lot more experience. That's Margot Appleton, the sophomore, the all ACC miler sitting second. Notre Dame starting to slide back a little bit. One runner not sliding back is Tui. Tui, 211 at 800 meters. 211. Again, her collegiate record in an open mile is 424. She's ahead of that pace. Matug still running really well. In fact, I think she's maybe put another couple feet on the Virginia runner at this point. When we come around, there'll be just three laps to go. 600 meters remain. Matug. Duke women haven't won a Duke uh, ACC DMR in years. Tui at the K, 244. Continue, there she is, she's continued. Just look at that stride, her beautiful arm carry. Meanwhile, we're getting closer and closer to 400 to go. Matug now really laying it down. Can, I think Matug can hold off Virginia, and I think she can hold off Notre Dame, but can she hold off Tui? Less than two to go. Two laps remaining. 318 for Tui. 
Tui about to pass Notre Dame and Syracuse. Markovic trying to hang tough, but it will be Tui on the outside. And you have a feeling this is going to become a two-team race for the DMR. Unbelievable. This is everything we could have hoped for. Matug having to hold off Caitlin Tui. She was 318 at 1,200 meters. That is exactly 424 pace. One to go. What a finish. The final 200 meters. They have Erasing to... a huge deficit was Tui. Does she have enough in the engine to pull off a remarkable comeback? Matu getting around the lap runner. Now Tui's going to have to do the same thing. Less than 100 meters to go now. Is Tui just going to run out of room? Regardless, Duke. she's running fast. Duke with a season best, 1056.68. They'll shatter that. Here comes Matu. They're going to go sub 1050. Duke, 1049.87. Notre, Notre Dame, Dame second. Yes. And NC State third. But Duke, your women's DMR. Gold medal winners. So that's going to put Duke at least with a great shot at making the NCAA meet. They were, when they ran 10.56, they were 15th in the nation. And now they ran 10. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. Very, very nice job by Tui. What was Tui's final split? 4.23.30, faster than her collegiate record.